What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today with a very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today, Google and Samsung have started pushing out the August 2024 Play System update to the latest Samsung phones, S24 series, S23 series here in the US. Now it is a little late, obviously I'm recording this on September 4th, 2024. Um, the September Play System update should start rolling out to the Pixel devices soon, and so Samsung's about a month behind. Really better than the Fold and the Flip though, my Flip over here, my Flip 6, actually has the April Google system updates. So Samsung needs to get on the Flip 6 and Fold 6. Not sure what's going on there, but let's go ahead and get into the changes and the updates that you can find in this month's, well, August 2024's update. Uh, first, we want to thank my son Jonathan for the yellow horse over here. He always gives some dinos and animals to hang out in the video. Always appreciate him. If you haven't yet, make sure you check out our website, sammyguru.com. You get the latest Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials, and reviews. We've got a couple full-time writers over there, including myself and uh, Sumit, who covers it on the uh, nighttime shift and when it's live over in Korea, breaking news, all that good stuff. You can also get on our mystery box program if you're here in the U.S. Uh, when you order Galaxy S25 Ultra, you get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop, phone stand, other randomly inserted goodies. Put in your phone number, your email right here. You can even put in both uh, and then sign up. The link will be in the pinned comment description if you are interested in that. So let's go ahead and go right into the uh, settings here and remind you where you can find this. If you go into software information, you'll notice right here it says Google Play System Update. If you tap on this inside software information in the settings, it'll check for update and then go ahead and give you any updates you have and you can install it. Now you'll see right here it shows you last check for the Android version you're on and the Play System Update version. I updated last night, which was September 3rd, 2024 here in the US, and was able to pull the update. It's around 72 or 75 megabytes. I can't remember exactly, but somewhere in that general vicinity. So you can see on here, you also see your Android security patch level. You can also see that information down there, which with the current uh, update for the S24 Ultra here in the US is on the August security patch. We do expect that we'll be getting the September one pretty soon. Hopefully it's gonna come with that One UI 6.1.1 update. Now, you can find all the information about what's new in these Play System updates by going to Google System Release Notes, and it runs down everything that's new. Now, like I said, the September patch, which started rolling out to the Pixels actually a few days ago, was released version 24.34. This will be coming to the Samsung phones later this month. If we scroll down, though, and take a look here, here are the August 2024 updates you can see here. There's quite a few of them. The first one is to the Google Wallet. Uh, with this feature, you'll get more functionality for transit cards. With this new feature, you get easier access to wallet when you use the quick access wallet tile and your quick toggles. With the new digital car key feature, you can use your watch as your car key on compatible cars. Uh, there is a full list that they have of those compatible cars, so I'll drop that below. If you guys are interested, you can check it out. Android system intelligence, uh, visual UI fixes for cough and snore detection and live captions, bug fixes for keyboard suggestion and 3D wallpapers. Some of these things you do need to use a Pixel phone for. Not all of them are gonna work on every Android phone or Samsung phone. Enable supporting features for satellite SOS. This is specific to the new Pixel 9 lineup. Google Play services, security and privacy, bug fixes, system management. You'll get to see a pop-up when a game personalizes your Google Play experience. So this basically is another security feature to make sure you know kind of what games are changing about you or your profile. Setting services, backup save rules and transfer them to your new Pixel. Again, specific to a Pixel device. Uh, Android web view, improvements to security and privacy and updates for bug fixes. New developer features for Google and third-party app developers to support functionality relating to displaying web content. So basically with the uh, progressive web app, stuff like that. Uh, device health services, optimization for adaptive battery. Google Play Store, you'll be able to watch live streams on the comics tab. That's a pretty cool feature coming to everybody in the Play Store. With updates to ads on the search pages, you get a more improved experience. No one really likes ads, but you know, there you go. General bug fixes and reliability for SIM manager. Google Play services with a new feature in Wallet, you'll be able to add passes to your Google Wallet using pass images. That's a pretty cool feature. Just take a snapshot of the pass, you can upload that and use it. And then system management, update system manager service to improve media support and updatability for like Android Auto um, with your phone, integration with Chromebooks and things like that. So some nice under the hood improvements, a couple of cool features with Google Wallet and also the one that I mentioned about taking a picture of a pass and then uploading, I think that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, if you do have some of those cars that support digital car key, it's a pretty cool feature for that as well. Um, you can utilize both the Pixel and Samsung phones with select cars, but they're still very, 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 very select. Uh, it would be nice to see a wider rollout there. Anyway, I'd be interested if you guys download this, see if you see any other improvements around. I haven't really noticed anything. Uh, adaptive battery functionality, of course, those improvements are implemented a little differently on Samsung phones because they have their own system for adaptive battery. So those are probably gonna be more important for the Pixel users. But some of these other things are pretty cool to see as well. 
Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Wanted to bring this update to your attention. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. And of course, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.